Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good morning to everyone. Okay, so today you will learn about the introductions of the operating systems. Okay, for the subject of CSC 520, the principles of operating system. Okay, so before we start, okay, uh, uh, this subject is basically is the extensions of the CAC 429, which is a computer organization and architecture. Because the previous, uh, in the previous CAC 429, you had learned about the component of the computer, the architecture of, about the computer, and how the computer has been organized. You will learn about the CPUs, you learn about the memories, okay, you learn about the powerful devices, and how it is being communicated and uh, will be communicated among the devices. So, therefore, okay, in this semester, you will learn all how this all the components is has been coordinated in order to make sure that the operating of the computer system back can be functions okay as what the required okay so therefore in these chapters okay you will learn about what are the more focused towards the operating system what the operating system do in order to manage your pro your process and all may how to manage the memory the the, the input device input and output devices and also uh, when you have an advanced architecture such as the um, NUMA architecture okay my parallel uh, parallel processing so they have different various types of operating system and what you will learn how the operating operating system will uh, conducted or coordinate all this all this component of the computer uh, inside the computer all all of the inside the computer okay next in this chapter, you nampak macam banyak, tapi sebenarnya dia ada sikit je sebenarnya. Okay, so dia adalah lebih kepada fokus kepada uh, just touch a little bit what are the operating system do and dia ada sikit recap daripada CAC for tunai anda. Dari segi organisation, dari segi architecture, the operation. You have to know the fundamental of this supaya kamu boleh faham okay, apa yang operating system uh, uh, terlibat okay, apa yang proses involve okey bila melibatkan architecture dan juga operations okey dia sebab dia op, this operating system ni dia banyak fungsi dia okey banyak fungsi dia kalau kita tengok kalau ada setengah orang kalau uh, tengok komputer kalau tak ada operating system dia bukanlah satu komputer yang lengkap okey sebenarnya kalau tanpa operating system computer you still working can be functional but they cannot function as what user require lah Okay, so kalau dia proses, dia proses je. Kalau dia simpan dalam memori, dia simpan dalam memori je. So, dia tak boleh, uh, uh, dia tak boleh interact eh. The operations and the application cannot interact without the operating system. Okay, so now kita akan tengok the objective. Okay, ni antara objective of the uh, topic. Alright, so now kita akan, what's the terms, okay, the operating system means, okay. Alright, operating system is a fit in the blanks. Okay, kita tak tahu. Okay, adakah dia kereta ke, dia uh, kapal terbang ke, dia ada kapal printer ke, dia washing machine ke. Okay, adakah ia tu operating system. Okay, alright. So, basically, by operating system ni sebenarnya dia bertindak, dia adalah program. Eh, dalam in the computer perspective, operating system ni dia bertindak sebagai program. Dia adalah program di mana dia act as intermediary antara user of the computer and also ada ada components inside your computer. Okay, so kita ada component like hardware, kita ada software, kita ada user, kita ada communication. So, apa yang terjadi ialah operating system ni dia akan bertindak antara orang tengah. Okay, antara orang tengah, okay, antara user sebab user yang akan menggunakan yang memberi action apa yang dia perlu nak buat and then melalui arahan, arahan adalah berdasarkan kepada computer, you punya program ataupun application and then daripada situ, bila application ataupun program awak perlukan Uh, communication uh, perlukan uh, devices maka dia ada satu um, we call a coordinator ataupun um, okay as a chief okay in order to make sure that your uh, whatever your user required okay through the instruction tu boleh sampai kepada hardware yang diperlukan ketika dalam 
uh, menggunakan ketika menggunakan komputer. Okey. So maksudnya contoh kalau you nak buka you punya micro, uh, you gunakan application uh, Microsoft Word atau Microsoft Office. So you akan buka application tu and then apabila anda perlukan application tu let's say you nak print the document. So daripada Microsoft Word tu dia akan hantar instruction melalui operating system hantar instruction kepada printer supaya you punya dokumen tu dapat di print ataupun dapat dicetak okey daripada Microsoft Word. So dia ada antara tu perantara ya eh. dia ada kira kata ada perantara antara use, use, user dan juga application dengan juga hardware. So bila kita operasi sistem goal ni dia punya goal adalah to execute the user program and make and solving user problems much easier. Okay, so dengan adanya operating system ni, dia mencepatkan proses untuk user or program to be executed and solve the user problems much easier lah. Okay, and then bila kita nak design the operating system, okay, kita mesti, this operating system should be convenient and also to be easy to use, of course. Okay, kalau kita pakai uh, operating system, it's very difficult for you to uh, to use, then is your operating system will not... Uh, achieve uh, achieve dia punya target ataupun achieve dia punya goals okay and then the user computer hardware in uh, hardware is in efficient manner so bila uh, operating system okay mesti dia punya goal bila kita you design operating system goal dia punya target dia mesti computer hardware tu boleh efficient manner okay kalau kamu tambah letak RAM pun dia lagi, dia akan tambah laju okay operating system you can be Uh, can be can be operate much faster for example eh so bila uh, contoh windows okey bila kita cerita pasal operating system kita mesti akan nampak kita boleh nampak gambaran dia adalah windows dan juga win, uh, windows uh, ataupun linux ataupun mac ataupun android okey kita akan nampak kita akan fikir oh this is the operating system okey alright tetapi you you have an idea how actually the operating system ni do Okay, so dia ada set, dia ada bukan satu, satu program dia. Dia is a set of programs, okay. Supaya dia bertindak, okay, untuk coordinate semua, uh, 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 all the components, applications, okay, in order to, co in order your company computer can operate, okay, as a specified function lah. Okay, alright. So, uh, kita boleh katalah, operating system ni as a chief, okay. Okay, it's a chief of software that mana dia akan bantu untuk coordinate and bantu untuk uh, untuk melancarkan proses, uh, proses untuk you uh, uh, mengendalikan komputer tu dengan lebih baik lah. To operate your computer, to operate your computer system much uh, more faster, okay, in efficient manner, eh, alright, dan sebagainya. Alright, so the operating system, kalau kita boleh buat, saya buat satu analogi, okay, di mana operating system ni, okay, kalau kita pernah pergi ke orkestra ataupun kita tengok dekat orkestra, eh, bila kita tengok satu orkestra, okay, kita nampak tak ada satu orang, okay, conductor eh, berada di tengah-tengah, okay, dia akan conduct, okay, bila kita berada dalam satu orkestra, dekat orkestra tu kita ada beberapa jenis, uh, beberapa jenis, Uh, instrument, ok, alat music kita ada piano, kita ada violin kita ada cello, kita ada trumpet, kita ada kita ada macam-macam, uh, kita ada gitar, ok, kita ada drummers, ok drums, ok, semua tu ok, adalah all the instruments ok, tetapi bagaimana kita, uh, kita nak tahu which is these instruments we need, we need to play next Okay, macam mana? So, they must be conducted. It must be coordinated by the con music conductor tadi. So, the music conductor must know which uh, instruments need to be uh, to be uh, to be played. Okay, to be you uh, to be played. Okay, for in order to follow the rhythm of the music. Okay, so nampak tak conductor tu dia akan uh, tunjuk uh, uh, okay, uh, groups of uh, instruments okay, in order to play the music based on the punya rhythm so kita boleh anggap lah okay, kita boleh bayangkan lah okay, kita punya operating system tu adalah music conductor and dan uh, apa music instruments tu adalah semua komponen-komponen yang ada di dalam 
komputer termasuklah hardware termasuklah software termasuklah you user sekali okey so itu kita saya boleh gambarkan uh, bagaimana operating system itu okey sebelum kita pergi jauh lagi we go further more on the operating system we have to understand about the computer system structure you kena tahu apa structure dalam komputer apa yang ada dalam komputer so komputer kita boleh sebelum ni kamu dah belajar okey dalam CSC 429 just the only a brief recap on the CSC 429 okey uh, the computer system will be divided into four component yeah, you have a hardware you ada or software and then you ada users so operating system is a part of the component okey alright kalau kita hardware kita ada input device output device okey kalau Uh, software kita ada operating system ataupun kita panggil sebagai system software dan juga application program. So application program defines way okay macam mana uh, uh, help user okay to to do the specific uh, to do the punya specific, uh, specific task okay specific functions okay dari dalam sesuatu atau to solve the computing problems okay using a computer uh, computing problems okay and then operating system they make sure to control and coordinate the use of the hardware among the various applications and also their users okay so and how about the users users can be a people users can be a machines and users also can be another computers in order to communicate from the application to the operating system and not directly and go to the hardware okay so this is a we can see that Okay, the interactions okay between the users, uh, between the component of the computer. So okay, secara gambarannya lah. Okay, kita nak ada user, user akan interact uh, okay uh, with the application program, and then bila application program perlukan uh, hardware, so the operating system ni akan bertindak sebagai orang tengah okay untuk memudahkan pros, uh, data yang boleh dihantar daripada application ataupun daripada hardware dihantar kepada application. Dia bergantung kepada uh, jenis hardware yang digunakan lah sama ada input ataupun output devices. Okay, so what our operating system do? Okay, depends on the point of view. Okay, kita bergantung kepada operating system. Nanti kita akan tengok kita ada beberapa, they have a very step of the operating system. Okay, later on. So, the operating system uh, depending on the Uh, points of view, ok, kita ada the points of view in terms of user perspective bila kita tengok apa yang persistent on the user perspective, kita akan nampak okay, kita nak operating system kita cantik kita nak operating system is convenient to use ok, kamu pakai windows windows walaupun laptop awak jenama Dell, jenama Asus ke jenama Lenovo ke, jenama apa sekalipun, your portal uh, your operating system is, is the same and it can be op, uh, op, can be uh, work and functions, ok And ease of use, okay, you suka tengok, okay, it should be uh, uh, ease of use, easy for you to use, betul tak, okay, kalau kamu tak tak cari-cari mana icon nak start, mana nak icon nak shut down, okay, and then they have a good performance, you tak nak, you punya computer system, operating system, you slow, so, this is what operating system has to, uh, uh, will be, uh, kena, will have to look into it, okay, they have to look, Okay, to to look into this kind of consideration in order dari segi design, dari segi implementation, dari segi dia punya uh, structure. Okay, so and then bila kita and then as we know kita tahu you have a different types of computer. So bila you ada servers, okay, bila you ada types of computer that is for use for server. So the server dia ada dia punya operating system. Okay, kalau personal computer, dia ada operating system. Kalau you ada mobile, they have a mobile operating system. And then kalau you ada uh, tablet, uh, tablet, dia normally dia pakai hampir uh, sama lah. Okay, dengan desktop. Okay, cuma dia mungkin, uh, the features will be different lah. Okay, uh, kalau macam Android, okay, Android boleh pakai dekat dia punya uh, Samsung tablet, okay, uh, dan juga dia pakai handphone, okay. Dan uh, you banyak, okay? You have a design, so the operating system can work not only at the certain certain hardware, but also it can be put in the various type of hardware. Uh, so kalau the mobile, they have a mobile user interface, okay? Kalau mobile macam smartphone, eh? So they ada, okay? So this is what you need about the operating system. Itu yang you perlukan dalam operating system. So the terms of the OS will cover the many roles. Okay, banyak. Okay, roles dia banyak. Roles dia bukan ada satu je, bukan dia execute je. Okay, execute kerja CPU. Okay, alright. 
uh, masukkan data okey di mana uh, data atau proses atau instruction tu mesti will be located dalam memory okey so itu memang kerja operating system tapi siapa yang responsible untuk letak benda tu uh, itu kita kena belajar dalam operating system okey right The terms operating system will cover many roles because they have a mind design the use of depending on the use of the operating system. So they have a lot of okay present uh, present in the toasters okay where the ships, the spacecraft, the game machines, the TVs and industrial control system. So they will cover many okay many roles. So uh, when you defining the operating system, so you can ingat okay the keyword is act as intermediary or the chief of the software. Ha, itu dia punya keywords dia. Antara siapa dengan siapa dan antara user application dan juga hardware. Okay, supaya computer you boleh work and function as well required. Okay. Alright. So, the everything. Okay. So, the apa beza? System program dan juga application program. So, system program. Okay, they ship with the operating system. So, operating system will fall under the system program ataupun dia panggil sebagai system software. Okay, right. So, dia dia uh, coordinate. Okay, they control the operations of the computer. Tapi, apa beza dengan application program? Application program, they not associated with the operating system. Application program is a, a set of uh, instructions that work to help the users to perform the daily activities. Okay, ataupun the, uh, the for any types of uh, to solve the uh, user problem through the uh, computer. Okay, so today operating system have general purpose uh, and can be used as a general purpose and also as a mobile computing. Okay, it become a middleware. A middleware means the set of software that framework that provide antara application developer dan juga database dan juga multimedia lah. Okay. Alright, kita tengok structure operating system. So, operating system, okay, kalau kita tengok uh, based on the computer system organization, how your computer system organize, all the component of the computer akan berada uh, akan berada di dalam computer dan dia akan di-share dalam bus. Okay, ha, ingatlah you belajar bus dulu kan. Ha, so, you have a system bus. Okay, alright. Okay, so dia kat system bus. Okay, they have a provide the shared memory. Okay, so all your devices, all the components to, okay, whatever dia nak hantar data, whatever dia nak send data, whatever dia nak simpan data, so dia akan, meng, akan melalui the system bus. So, the concurrent execution of the CPU and devices will compete for the memory cycle. So, dia akan, dia akan bersaing lah. Okay, dia akan bersaing. Okay, antara CPU dan juga devices. Tapi, yang biasanya menang adalah CPU kerana CPU dia lebih cepat daripada the speed access and the new transfer access of the CPU much faster daripada other devices. Okay, so the other devices and the CPU can execute concurrently. Bila kita tengok komputer sistem, dia kena seiring. Okay, kalau awak tekan A, dia terus keluar display of A. Dan proses ini sangat cepat. Okay, so dan dia di sini oleh kerana uh, dia perlukan devices so dia setiap devices tu akan ada satu device controller then that is charge for the particular device type okey kalau dia keyboard keyboard dia ada keyboard punya uh, device controller kalau you ada mouse uh, you mouse controller okey so setiap controller ni have the operating system that we call that uh, that be managed okey through the device driver Okay, so uh, operating system the manage you punya devices adalah melalui device manager. So, the device driver. Okay, ataupun dia kata device management. Okay, kalau kamu tengok dekat dalam komputer awak, okay, pergi kat start, pergi kat setting, kat control panel tu, awak pergi right click, awak pergi dekat device management. So, device management kat situ lah, where is your device driver is being located for each particular devices. Okay, the CPU are moved from run, from data from from or to the memory or to or from the local buffer. Uh, so, dia ada buffer. Okay, kalau dia speed dia laju ataupun speed yang ni slow, so dia akan letak dalam buffer sementara. Okay, kerana you have a different mismatch of speed between the devices. Okay, so this bila dia ada mix match, okay, uh, of the speed, so uh, dia locally dia akan letak dalam buffer and then bila dah okay, then dia akan masukkan balik lah, then dia execute macam biasa. Okay, so device control it, ya, ingat tak dulu kamu belajar bila you talk about the device controller is uh, the inform the CPU that is being finished. Bila dia dah siap, dia complete the task, dia akan inform the operating system by pro providing the interrupt. 
Okay, nah, so you last time you belajar interrupt kan? Okay, under device uh, input output. Okay, communication kan? Nah, device communication, so dia akan berlakunya interrupt. Interrupt ni bukan apa, interrupt ni adalah satu signal. Okay, they give a signal. Okay, they prompt the, the, the processor, they prompt the other component. Dia kata, this have uh, some interruption. So, dia perlukan need to be handled, okay, so either the CPU ataupun in the handle by the other controller. Okay. Alright, the the common functions, okay, of the interrupt, kamu dah tahu, apa proses dia interrupt, so interrupt, uh, okay, uh, it can be a software generated or it can be a hardware generated, okay, dia bergantung kepada set of the interrupt that you being used lah, so operating system sendiri adalah interrupt, interrupt driven, okay, dia, dia, dia bina, okay, it will be developed, okay, to have the interrupt driven, okay, dia kata tak ada operating system, buat dia buat je, tak ada interrupt, ada, eh. Right, because they need a, a, a attention. Okay, right, boleh ya? Okay. Okay, so this is the interrupt timeline. Okay, so dia akan berlaku interrupt. Okay, uh, nak tak nak memang kena ada berlaku interrupt. So macam mana interrupt is being handled? Uh, so that is the, uh, the handling. So, the well, process system preserve the state of the CPU by store the register and the program counter. So, bila berlaku interrupt, uh, remember kalau dah berlaku interrupt, apa yang dia buat ini, the concept-concept ni kamu dah belajar sebelum ni. So, saya just skip balik. Okay. So, kalau dia, contohnya adalah interrupt. Okay. Drive cycle. Okay. Kalau this the CPU. Okay. So, device driver initiate the input output devices. Lepas tu, dia check sama ada uh, device tu. Uh, dia hantar melalui signal, okay, interrupt handler, okay, dia akan hantar kepada uh, devices, okay, and then kalau dia perlukan, okay, dia akan hantar, uh, dia akan uh, pergi balik lah, okay, ke, ke device driver, okay, so this is how the cycle, okay, and then uh, the input output structure ada dua, cara dia handle, sama ada dia menggunakan input output after, the input output start, The control will return to user program only bila input output to complete. Okay. Ada juga uh, case uh, di mana apabila dia met, uh, berlaku interrupt. Okay. The control the return to the user program without waiting for the input output operation. Tak, dia tak perlu tunggu sampai input output tu habis. Siapkan kerja dia. Baru dia hantar. Uh, baru dia uh, bagi prompt tadi. Eh. Okay. Dia bergantung kepada approach yang kita pakai Okay, so dalam input output structure Dia start control return to user program Only upon the input output completion Okay So, kalau dia input output to start Okay uh, Control will return Bila control tu return kepada program Okay uh, Dia akan return kepada program Apabila input output tu complete sahaja Kalau tak complete, selagi tu dia tak akan return kepada user program Okay, contoh adalah When you looping Okay, looping is be controlled by the user program. Okay, bukan the hardware. Tidak. Okay, it's be controlled by the uh, uh, by the uh, program. Okay, so bila dah return, dia akan return back. Eh? Nah, bila dah complete the loops, dia buat looping. Okay, so dia akan complete dan dia hantar balik ke uh, application program. Okay, alright. So, after the input output start, the control return to the user program without waiting for the input output completion. So, tak, dia tak perlu tunggu sampai input tu dibuat settle, baru dia buat. Okay, baru dia hantar, uh, dia return the, to the user program. Okay, so yang ini dia ada satu, we call it system call. System call ni senang je, tak susah eh. So, system call ni is a provide the services. Okay, they provide the service, uh, they provide the interaction antara user dan juga application dan juga hardware. Contohnya kalau awak nak request for print. Okay, ni awak nak pergi, pergi file, pergi print. So, awak kena print. So, bila you double click action of print tu, so maksudnya ialah you akan Uh, you akan request, eh, you request some connections of your devices. Contohnya, you ke, kalau case ni you nak print, you akan connect to the printer. So, the request that you require di menggunakan application tadi tu akan dihantar kepada uh, op hardware melalui operating system. Okay, so dia akan hantar melalui sistem call. So, request yang awak minta tadi tu akan di give a signal. Dia bagi signal. Okay, dia bagi signal. Okay, sistem kau akan bagi signal. Dia kata, okay, dia nak print. So, dia akan bagi tahu apa yang dia perlu buat. Contohnya, dia akan dapatkan status of the 
devices okay through from the hardware so kalau you pergi print okay double click you dah request for print nanti dia keluar satu you uh, interface for printing kan printing properties tu so bila dia keluar kat property properties tu you select the printer so once you select the printer the printer dia akan bagi the give the back okay hardware akan bagi response okay dah sama ada printer tu boleh digunakan ataupun tidak. Kadang-kadang you put paper pun jam. Ataupun ke paper, ataupun is being offline. Okay. So, there will be uh, connections. Okay. Between uh, the application dan juga hardware. Alright. So, device status table ni tak ada apa. Dia hanya bagi tahu. Okay. Uh, devices yang that indicate the types, address and also the state of your devices. Okay, ini uh, storage structure. Okay, kamu pun tahu about the storage. Okay, storage uh, ada dua. Satu uh, primary memory, satu lagi secondary memory. Okay, so main memory normally kita panggil dia sebagai primary memory. Okay, dia hanya only storage media. Okay, kalau dan dia bersifat random access. Uh, dia bersifat volatile. Okay, dan dia uh, contoh. Uh, storage okay. storage ni senang je kita bagi dua Satu adalah uh, uh, primary memory Satu lagi adalah secondary memory Primary memory okay, normally example dia adalah RAM, ROM okay. Kalau di secondary memory It can be your hard disk, you punya pen drive okay, You punya memory card okay. So dia adalah bersifat dan sifat dia berbeza Kalau dia adalah Uh, primary memory normally dia adalah bersifat volatile maka kalau dia secondary storage dia adalah bersifat non volatile okey alright so this is a hard disk okey you know how about hard disk okey you know about your different devices okey alright so bila kita tengok ada hierarchy of how the operate your storage okey sama ada primary ataupun memory so dia akan bahagi kepada tiga faktor tu Organize you punya system storage hierarchy adalah ketiga. Satu speed, satu lagi skor, satu lagi lagi volatility. Okay, alright. So yang ni yang kita belajar lah. Uh, nanti kita belajar dalam detail lagi macam mana uh, sistem berbagai in hierarchy tu. Okay, so you have a catching and also device driver. Catching and device driver adalah berbeza. Di mana catching dia copy the information into the faster storage system. And the main memory can be viewed as a cache for the secondary storage. And device driver hanyalah uh, for each device controller, they add their own uh, devices. Okay, they have their own device management. And then they provide the interface between the controller and also the kernel. So, ini adalah contoh, okay, the storage devices ataupun dia sometimes they call it a memory hierarchy. Okay, so yang paling bawah adalah magnetic tape. And then the in the top it will be have a register. So as we go along from the top to bottom, okay, the the access time must be, become slower and slower. And how, how, however, the size or the capacity is become bigger and bigger. Okay. So macam mana kamu explain? So kamu kena ada dua faktor ni lah. Sama ada uh, you read from the top to bottom or bottom to top. Okay. Memang is normal. Okay. Then we will reconnect. Okay, dalam modern computer networks, okay, we have a lot of modern punya computer networks, okay, they have computer works, okay, the, because uh, bila you have a modern computer, so dia punya approach akan berbeza sedikit, okay, compared dengan yang lain. Okay, so remember your DMA, uh, last time you belajar DMA kan, okay, memory, memory access, memory directory memory access dalam input output devices awak. So this DMA is really a high speed input output devices we are that enable for you to transmit the information at the close to the memory speed near to the memory. Dia sangat laju sebab dia ada external memories okay in order for you to access your punya devices. So the only uh, the device controller apabila dia uh, pakai DMA, DMA dia memerlukan dia punya controller sendiri. DMA controller dia block all the data from the buffer storage to the memory without CPU intervention. Dia tak perlukan bantuan ataupun uh, gangguan daripada uh, okey daripada uh, uh, the the um, 